In Creo Parametric, you can create welds in both parts and assemblies. But before we can even go into that, there's a little bit of setup we have to do first. Here I have an assembly open, and the first thing that I'm going to do is in assembly mode, add any additional materials that I want to use for my different welds. If I go to the model tree, I can expand materials. And right now we have an iron in there, which is actually the material for one of my welding materials for my cast iron. But let's add some more materials. I'm going to right click on the materials folder and then edit materials. And this will bring open the materials dialog box. I'll go to legacy materials. One that I want to add is the magnesium. Let's add that to the model. A second one is going to be for the steel. Let's add that to the model. And one that I will need later on, but I'm not going to add is the titanium alloy. So I can show you the error that I would end up getting by not having the requisite materials in the assembly. Let me click the OK button. Okay, and now before I even go into weld mode, I want to show a few different config.pro options that you should be aware of. I will go to File Options, and that brings open the Creo Parametric Options dialog box. Let's choose Configuration Editor over on the left, and then I'll scroll down in the list to show you that I already have one of my options set, and it is the Pro Weld Params Directory. And I've got that set to my weld folder inside of my Creo folder on my C drive. So any different parameters or materials that I create or want to use in weld mode, well, it's going to be stored in there. Let's show some of the other different options. I will click on the Find button. And for the keyword, I will type in weld. And then let's click on find now and the first option that we will take a look at let's scroll down in the list and here at the bottom we have the weld ui standard the default for that is ansi but if you go to the drop down list you can choose iso if that is your standard let me choose add change to add that one in there the next one is the weld geometry type by default and the default value for that is a surface. A while ago, they added the ability to create welds as solid geometry in the model, but there's also the option for a lightweight representation. I'm going to choose solid for what I want. Let's add change that one. And then a, another one that's sort of related to that. Let me scroll up in the list. The very first one over here is add weld mp so what that means is when you calculate your mass properties it will actually take a look at your weld features how much material there is what your density is and then add that to your assembly or parts mass property so it'll include the weight of the welds in the mass properties default value is no let's change that one to yes add change that one is good and also there are five other additional options to be aware of let me scroll down in the list and those are the weld fillet preferences file the weld general preferences file the weld groove preferences file and then we have similar files for the plug slot preferences and the spot preferences and so in a later video i will show you how to set up all your different preferences and then you can use these config options to point to a file on your computer that will have those preferences set for you so now i've got my different options let's close out of here and then i'll click the ok button it says hey you made some changes some different options do you want to save that Yes, I do. So that way, the next time that I launch Creo Parametric, it will remember what I want set. Okay, so now that we have set some different configuration options, let's go to the Applications tab. And over on the left, here we have Welding. And that puts us in the welding environment. And there are three different things that you want to set up for welding. And that's your weld material, your weld processes, and also your preferences. And in this video, we are going to do the weld materials. So I will click on weld material. And right now there's nothing in this dialog box. 
One thing that you might want to do to save yourself effort is to set up an assembly template that already has the different standard weld materials that you are going to use so that you don't have to add them every time that you want to use welds in your model. But let's click on new weld material and here it gives us some name for it. Let's change this to aluminum. And then on the definition tab right now, it's set to unassigned. Let's click the define button and I'll go to my legacy materials. Let me just grab one of my aluminums and I added it to the model. Then I'll choose the select button. So here it is listing that material. Then we can specify our default diameter. And here we have a default length. In addition to what we have on the definition tab, if you click on the parameters tab, well, here we have the material name parameter, and then we have the diameter and also the length that we had from the previous tab. So this is good. Let's say that I want to use this in other different models. I will click on the save button and here it goes to that C Creo weld folder that I had before. And here you can see I have four other materials that I have already saved out. I've got my cast iron, I've got my magnesium alloy, here I've got the steel, and there I have the titanium. And I will choose to export this. And so now we've saved it out to disk. Now let's try reading in some other additional materials. And again, I have some of those materials already added to my assembly model. Let's choose the open button. And the first one that I will grab will be the cast iron. I'll choose import. And here you can see now we have it in the list. And there we have our material, which again corresponds to one of the materials already in the assembly. You can see the same information over on the parameters tab. Let's open up another one. And the next one that I'll grab will be the magnesium import that one and so now I have that one available let's click the open button and I will grab the steel and let's use import so again we've got that now this time I'm going to get an error when I go to bring in the next one I'm gonna to try to bring in titanium but you'll see that titanium isn't currently assigned to my model I'll click the import button and hey, it says the entered value for parameter material name is invalid because we didn't have it added to the model. And so it tried to read in the information from that material file and it has a problem. So let's click the OK button. You'll see that the material is unassigned. So let's click on the define button and I will go to my legacy materials and grab the titanium alloy. Oops, let me. You can either double click on it or right click on it and add to model. And now I can choose the select button. So there's listed for the material. The actual error that was that I was getting pertained to this parameter material name. It was actually listed as unassigned. And so that's what the warning message was that came up. So this is good. I have all my different materials that I want to use for welding. Let's click the OK button. And so that's how we set up our weld material. In the next video, we will take a look at processes and preferences. And one last thing, if you take a look at the bottom of the model tree, here you can see our different weld symbols and you can see the icon that is used to indicate it in the model tree. So these are assembly level features. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded.